sharing with you recipe for sambar masala today. Now good sambar really depends on a good sambar masala powder. You can get sambar masala powder nowadays easily in Indian grocery stores or in the grocery aisles of big chain stores. However, there is something special, there is something unique, there is something different about the flavor of homemade sambar masala powder. So today I'm going to show you how to make it at home. So let's get started with the ingredients here. Here I have coriander seeds, that's dhania seeds, two tablespoons, and then cumin seeds, that's jeera, two tablespoons as well. Now red chili, you can use two to four dried red chilies. If you prefer less heat, use only two like I am. And then this is two pieces of whole turmeric. Um, now if you don't have turmeric pieces at hand, you can always use turmeric powder as well. These turmeric pieces, we are going to add it uh, while roasting our spices. But if you're using powder, add it in the end. And then we have asafoetida, that is hing powder. We are going to use two teaspoons of this. And then two tablespoons of freshly grated coconut. If you don't have freshly grated coconut on, on hand, you can always use uh, dried coconut as well. Again, you can get them in the bakery aisle of Superstore, Walmart or other big chain stores. Now these are some exotic, aromatic, great spices that I love to work with. Uh, I have here curry leaves, about 10 dried crushed leaves, chana dal, one tablespoon. This is fenugreek seeds. Again, one tablespoon. Be careful with the use of fenugreek seeds because if you use too much, they can make your uh, sambar bitter. So that's methi seeds, uh, black peppercorn. Again, black peppercorn seeds can be substituted with uh, kali mirch powder or pepper powder. Uh, cinnamon stick, one big black cardamom, two green cardamom, four pieces of cloves, black cloves, mustard seeds, two tablespoons, rice, one tablespoon and urad dal, one tablespoon. So heat your tawa, that's griddle or pan or wok, and then go ahead and add your spices, red chilies, turmeric, the leaves dried, other spices, cumin and coriander. What I have done with the green and black cardamom is that taken their seeds out. That helps get all their flavor. And you can notice that red chilies are turning brown, turmeric changing color. So just roast it slowly on a low flame for 7-8 minutes, maybe up to 10 minutes until everything is nicely done. And then we're going to let it cool down. We put all our ingredients onto a plate, let it cool down and then grind them to make a nice fine powder and you can store this powder in your pantry for up to a month even two months and it's great it works really well in different curries in different uh, vegetables sabjis and uh, if you're making uh, your sambar fresh you can always make a liquid paste liquid uh, masala powder make a liquid sambar masala paste all you have to do is add some uh, other ingredients like ginger garlic, tomato and tamarind pulp and then you can store that liquid masala powder for up to two weeks in the fridge as well. Our spices are all done, they were nicely roasted, now they are cooling down on a plate and once they are nice and cool we'll go ahead and grind them and before grinding we'll go ahead and add asafoetida in it and if you are not using turmeric sticks, you can also add turmeric at that time. Adding two teaspoons of asafoetida, that's hing powder in our spices here. Now let's go ahead and grind everything together. Look at that, our nice sambar masala powder is ready. Go ahead, try out this recipe today. And I'm sure you will never want to buy masala powder from store ever again.